Hello guys, Lock Rules here once again. Welcome back to part two of my building a Brie house tutorial. If you haven't watched part one yet, please, please, please watch that first. Annotation should appear now on the screen. Click that, watch part one, then you'll understand what's gone on so far. In the last video, I worked on the front of the house, uh, the side window, and I started a little bit of work on the roof. What I'm doing now is I'm just building logs um, which are going to extend out from the main house. So the design I'm going for on this side is I'm going to make a window and I'm going to make shutters on the window. So I'm placing a few uh, logs, sorry not logs, um, just normal wooden blocks and I'm going to put um, trapdoors on them um, to make it look like there's shutters on this window. I'm going to need a different design than the front of the house because this block is an odd number as opposed to an even number. Um, it's fine, it's just gonna look slightly different. Uh, actually, we shouldn't have that, that low down. Um, we'll put a bit of wall in first and then we'll do the windows. As I mentioned in the last video, my style of building is just placing things, seeing how it looks and then deciding whether or not I want to change it. So I do make a lot of changes when I build. Um, it might be a bit difficult to follow a tutorial if I'm constantly making changes, but this is how I do it. Um, this is how I find the easiest way of doing it and how I get the best results from. Hmm, looking at this here, I seem to have made a bit of a mistake because obviously we've got it extending out at the sides. We've got a block either side of the window now and it's not going to line up and it wouldn't look right if we just put double logs. Um, what I'll do is have it extending out like the window uh, at the front and then it wouldn't look bad if we have two logs next to each other because there's some sort of depth behind it. So I'll just get rid of it and I'll just build the entire thing again. I guess there we kind of run into the choice of either having it go an extra block along and going nine across and do a nine wide wall, um, possibly making the window even bigger. Or we could have done it like this and have it extending out. Um, I mean, I think uh, any opportunity to add a bit of depth into your build, you probably want to go for that. It, um, it looks a lot better than just having a flat wall um, and well yeah as I said um, so yeah I'm just gonna make this go out um, placing all these blocks again it's sort of the third time I've done it now become a bit of an expert of how this design of window should look so should it mess up again I'll, I'll kick myself up to do this a fourth time there we go now that looks all right that looks quite nice actually um, we just have to do the windows, oh no sorry not the windows, the roof on that, we've done the side bit of the wall. Um, I mean that's nearly sort of half the house done at this point. So now I'm just trying to work out the roof and how the roof is going to look with this bit of the window which is extending out. With the other window I had a second window going over the extended bit of the window, a lot of windows being said, um, and that won't look okay on this because it's such a, a a large window we can't have this extending out because it's just one block difference so we're just gonna have to have the roof coming out a little bit more than um than it was before once again i'm doing the de design of the nordic style roof where i go two blocks in and then i do a block up using just a normal wooden block um, i'm gonna do that all the way up on the window and then i'm gonna have to meet in the middle now before it was two blocks which met in the middle, this is only going to be one which will look slightly different but it's the same design as before so I'm just going two along, one up, then I'm going to go one more along after the one up and then another block up and then they should meet in the middle. Hmm, that doesn't look right. Oh god I made a terrible mistake right, I didn't actually place um, the stair blocks at top of the block so um, it looks weird and funny. Um, I guess I could probably use that design another time, but no, that doesn't look right at all. So we'll get rid of that and we'll try that again. So I'll try and explain it again for my sake more than anyone else's. We're going two stairs along, then we're doing a block up and a stair on top of that. Then we're going one more along, then another one up and a stair on top, and then they meet in the middle. This can end up becoming a very lengthy process creating the roof. So we can start to see how the roof is going to end up looking slightly different to the last design, but at the same time it's pretty similar. 
Um, but arguably, the last design is a lot easier as you don't have to deal with the top of the roof meeting, um, not meeting together because it's an even number and they just met together perfectly well. Um, which is, you know, just placing stairs in the middle, and that was fun. So you can um, see what I'm doing is I'm placing three slabs on this part, but only two in the front. Then we can go back to the front and place a stair on top, um, and then we can just place uh, these three blocks and two in height, and then simply slabs in the middle. So now for the design at the front. Um, I could easily put another window in like I've done before on the front of the house, where I've got two windows on top of each other. But I don't want to do that because I've already done that. So I'm just going to have just a plain wall uh, with a bit of a design on it. So I'm just going to use um, some tree slab, sorry, tree blocks, um, logs, whatever they're called, to um, create a bit of a design at the front of the house. And you know that looks okay. It looks a bit like a cross, um, which is fine. It wasn't intentional, but it looks okay. Um, so now we can work our way around at the back of the house now. Uh, we're making quite good progress now and we can try and think what we can do here. Now this bit here is going to become quite tricky because we've got the two sides meeting together on this bit and we need to try and make the side window for the front of the house that comes along and then we've got to have that joining on to um, the side bit of the window which we made just a moment ago. And we need to try and work out in our heads how that is going to look. So this is how wide the front window is going to need to be. I'm just flying over now, just double checking that those two bits do meet up. And yes they do, which is fantastic. Um, so we're going to need to, you know, use these blocks for that. And then the blocks to the side, that can be the rest of the roof for the side bit. Um, so we need to try and replicate what we did at the front of the house. Um, we can see it in the back. But that is the front of the house from, from the back, so we can't really see full how how it should look. Um, but we get an idea, so we know where the blocks are going to roughly be. Um, so we can just sort of follow that as our template. So now I'm just trying to follow the window which I made earlier, um, which we've got over there, which we can use as our template. Um, I think I've made a bit of a mistake by placing those logs out. Um, I don't think it's meant to be there. Yeah, if we fly over, we can see that there isn't logs there. So yeah, we're just trying to replicate what we did earlier, exactly really, um, there's no need to make anything different. Uh, it looks very good on that side, so we'll just make the same thing again, the same design. The only difference will be there won't be a door underneath to try and get into the house. We can really start to see the shape of the house taking form already, which is great. Um, we need to work on the roof of the extended window, just trying to work out where the window needs to start. Okay, so it's three blocks up on the tree log, in line with the glass. So we now have to create it now, just replicating it once again. I could very easily use world edit here for this bit of the window um, in the front of the house. Um, and save myself a ton of time, but for tutorial purposes, I'm, I'm not going to. As long as I personally try to avoid using world edit wherever possible. I mean, it's a great tool, but since we've also got uh, this part of the house meeting the side part of the house, I'm going to advise against using it and just spend an extra, you know, five minutes putting the needed extra care into your house. So, um, obviously working on this bit of the wall now, um, just flying over to see how the rest of the house looks. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to put another window in. Um, I think that will be all right. I'm going to use a shutter this time. Obviously this is a lot smaller than the other window, um, we've obviously only got one block for the glass and then we can work on making the roof coming across here and having it meet up um, with the other bit of the roof which as I said is probably going to be the trickiest part but it shouldn't cause as much problems. Now I'm just trying to work out where this bit of the roof is actually going to meet up. Um, this bit obviously was cut away by the side uh, bit of the roof so we're just trying to work out how it's going to try and look. And obviously that's going to need to meet up with the other bit of the roof. I keep saying this bit is tricky, but in all honesty it's not tricky at all. All you've really got to do here is you've just got to make the two roofs. And then when the two bits will meet together, you just need to obviously make any edits that you need to make to have the two look like they are merging together. In all honesty it is actually quite easy and um, I mean it's probably not the trickiest bit at all. 
it's just in your head it's difficult to work it out and because I haven't planned this before it seems quite difficult but in all honesty just just do it and then you know just make an edit after and it's that simple so there isn't really too much left to do now um obviously you need to make the roof um that's gonna be um as I said not that tricky but uh, I'll show you how I'm gonna do that and then we've got to do the side bit of the wall um which you know not gonna be too difficult at all um, I mean, I'm not actually going to have the side window uh, merging onto this because this is going to be part of the main bit of the house still. Uh, and then after we've done that, I think we can go around and put a few more details into into the house to make it look a bit better. This freaking block, one place, how I... Oh, God, I... God, I hate that block. Okay, I'm back on to building. So, yeah, just keep on going around. Just keep on following, um, you know, how you've got things already. At this point, it's just placing the blocks, um, there's not really too much mistakes you can make other than what I'm doing there when I'm just placing the blocks wrong. Um, it's just following the pattern, following how you've done things already, having the things meet up together. Um, at this point I could probably even um, cut away at the video, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to show you me doing it to prove that I am actually doing this, that it's not, um, not some trick or magic. Um, I am actually placing all of these blocks, doing it all by hand, uh, we don't need to weld in it. Uh, showing that you know anyone can really do this you don't need any prior experience in using different tools it's just placing the blocks um, here we go I would really quite like to know what sort of tutorials you would like next um, I'm thinking after I've done the Brie house I can possibly do a tutorial making interior although I'm probably not the best person to make an interior but I will try um, I could also work on making a hobbit hole um, as we make it Hobbiton soon um, and then also a Minas Tirith house as we are planning to go back and redo in Minas Tirith so there are the ideas I've got as far as Lord of the Rings related um, designs are concerned also I'd like to make some non Lord of the Rings maybe a windmill um, a water mill um, just tell me what sort of things you would like um, I mean I've got a few ideas in my head of what I can make but really I'm making these videos for you I'm making tutorials to show people how to how to make structures and what would you like to see so please leave a comment down below um, and just tell me what you would like to see um, also if you're watching this in the future watch all the other videos that I've made um, this is only the third one or well, second if you don't count the first part they're kind of linked together um, so yeah just watch all the tutorials and hopefully um, in the near future I've made lots of different videos um, and I haven't given up. To answer any preemptive questions that I, I feel like I'm probably going to get, um, no I've got no idea what this house is actually going to be. Um, I mean my intentions were to just make a generic uh, house which someone can live in, um, although it is quite spacious so um, it's obviously got to be someone quite rich that lives here. Um, but no, we're not going to make anything, um, you know, anything special in this particular house. It's just going to be a normal, generic house, which um, some lucky family is going to live in, having a nice big room to um, stretch themselves out in. Um, I mean, I'm not going to make anything special. It's just going to be someone living here, just a living quarters. Very nearly done with this roof now. We've um, nearly finished. Uh, I mean, we've probably got another 10 more minutes to go to finish this build completely. But, um, nearly finished, just got to finish off doing this roof. Looks like we've got another spectator here. We've got Dwight watching what we're doing. One of the builders on our server. Might need to try and get rid of him in a minute. He's just watching everything that we do. A bit sneaky. Sneaking up on us and watching what we're doing. I think we've I think we'll get rid of him, we'll TP him, um, there we go, got rid of him. Sorry Dwight if you're watching, but you had to go, and now we can build in peace. And there we go, the first roof is done. Now we've done all of this roof here even though most of this roof isn't going to actually be here as we need to utilise as much space as possible later on when we go and do the interior um, as we want all of that excess roof gone so when joining the rest of the roof up we want to delete any roof which is overhanging and doesn't need to be there 
Um, this is when we later find that the roof won't work at all. We've made this one terrible mistake. And we need to start all over again. But hopefully that's not going to happen. And it won't happen to yours either. Um, so we've actually got three different roofs to meet up. All we're going to do is build all three and delete anything that doesn't need to be there. For tutorial purposes, I'm not going to delete all of the excess roof because there's going to be lots that um, we need to go inside and check which doesn't, doesn't need to be there. I'll do that later on off camera. I'm just going to roughly delete a bit of that and then continue building the roof just to save time more than anything. Uh, you can see how this roof here is going to meet up. Uh, they intentionally are not the same height. Uh, we wanted different roofs. Um, I mean, the different heights are more defined. Remember, we did eight wide in the front roof. Sorry, the front of the house, and then seven for the side. Um, and we're going to meet up the two roofs using slabs. I seem to keep making mistakes doing this. <laughs> oh, God. And there we go. We're very, very nearly done. We've just got to join up the last roof, make the side of the house, and then I'm going to go around and I'm going to put a bit more detail into the bottom. Um, you know, try and find a bit of more detail I could put at the, at the, you know, the lower levels. Um, so we'll, we'll just do that now. just flying over the house now and I can see a gap there and we can't really be having a gap like that showing so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm thinking I'm just gonna swap those bit around and have it facing the other way uh, we don't want people flying over seeing inside and for structural purposes more than anything um, rain getting inside the house uh, the best looking houses are ones that could actually work within the real world and it's something that you might actually see if you was to go outside um, so we don't want anything like that um, nothing like that would actually happen in the real world um, so if you see something like that something probably isn't right and it will look better if you amend it just try to work out the roof as well um, I was gonna put a wall there but I realized that that should actually be part of the, the, the roof that goes up so I just swap those over um, I'm nearly done, um, we just need to join everything up and then we can actually work on the final bit of the side of the house. So the roof is about done, this really does feel like home stretch now, nothing can really go wrong. Um, I just want to do something really simple for the final wall, just going to try and map this out. I think it's going to work out perfectly and we can actually have a gap of three between uh, each bit of log, which is brilliant, um, works perfect. Three, three and three. And we can make simple shutter windows in here and fill in the glass for those windows. Looking great. Um, just about finished the house now. Um, that's all that left to do is really just put a bit more detail in. Uh, we can find a few things to make the house look even better. Right, so I'm just putting the final pieces of glass in. And there we go. Absolutely beautiful looking lovely just trying to give you a nice aerial shot of the house now um, but we're not complete yet we've still got to add a bit more detail into the bottom section For right now it's looking extremely plain all we've got is just logs and stone so what we're going to do is we're going to need to get some slabs some stairs we're also going to try and find wherever it might be we're going to try and find the cobblestone walls and we're just going to go around the house, we're just going to place cobblestone walls in each of the pillars of tree logs. And we're going to join up the stairs that we have holding up the windows of the house. So what I'm doing is I'm placing corner stairs next to each of the stairs, um, of, next to the logs. And then we're going to, when that's not possible, we're going to place a slab. And we're just going to do that all the way around the house. I'm just going round and I keep placing slabs stairs and walls to hold up our windows that we've made. Um, this will give the bottom part of the house not look so boring and also give the impression that the, um, that the cobblestone walls are actually being used as scaffolding uh, to hold up the house. Um, so we just place a lot of slabs. Uh, I could also place flowers as well at the bottom. Uh, that's something I might do a bit later once I've um, plucked the house into the world. But I'm not gonna do that now. I'm just gonna, um, just gonna do this and then I'm gonna finish. So we've just about done placing all the supporting stairs underneath the house. Um, it's not really needed. I mean, I think it looks a lot better with it. 
So all we've got to do now is just place a cobblestone uh, that we haven't placed already. I'm not going to place cobblestone in the corner pieces. I feel like that might be too much. I'm going to leave them out and I'm just going to place it uh, at the far corners. So the bits in the middle for the window, uh, I'm not going to bother with. So what we've got to do now is just put these final touches in and then we are about done and I feel like just collapsing from just talking way too much. Uh, it's difficult, um, I, I, I hope you appreciate how difficult it's been to think about what I'm doing, actually doing it and talking to you guys constantly. Uh, the first time I've actually had to do a video like this. But hopefully I'll, I'll live and learn and the next time I go to do a video uh, this long uh, I'll be absolutely fine. But I feel like my voice is just about to break and die. So I'm going to go um, and just not talk for the next week. <laughs> I'm only joking. Well, um, hopefully you've followed along and hopefully you've made something which is just as good, if not better, than what I've done here. Um, so thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, just going to finish this last little bit and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.